everybody. My name is Dr. Andrea Singh, and I'm here with my buddy Chomp for story time today. So we are going to be reading a book called Bear Feels Scared by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. So let's get reading. In the deep, dark woods, by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small, crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, cold, cold. So Bear turns back. He's not home yet when he, the sun starts to set, and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer, and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but can't find his way. He huddles by a tree, and he wails, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor poor lost bear. It's late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and they begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend bear. But Bear is all alone, and he shed big tears. There's a noise in the forest, and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind. How he longs for a friend. And the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp, and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild and wet weather. They call, Oh, Bear! Are you there? Are you there? And Bear feels scared. Come then. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It's Bear! He's there! And they sigh big sighs. By a tree waits Bear, ten feet from the lair. And the Bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs, and they calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. Wow, what a great story. I think lots of us have big feelings sometimes, especially when we're alone or scared. I'm curious as to what you guys do when you guys are feeling scared. Thanks for joining us with Storytime with Chomp. We'll see you later, alligators.